The biggest flash sale of the year is here. We answer all your questions in question time and we find out who the winners are in this week's video. Are you ready? G'day champion, how are you? Welcome back to Murphy's Magic Double Backflip Quick Change. My name of course is Joe from Misdirections Magic Shop. I hope you're having an incredible day doing whatever you're doing and having a good time doing it. Now are you in your favorite chair, comfy and relaxed? Because this week we've got a lot to talk about that happened in the world of magic. So without any further ado, let's dive into question time. Now this first question comes in from Michael Lawrence over there on YouTube asking about where can you get one of these hats? Well that's a great question Michael. I hope you're coming to Blackpool. If you didn't see me wink there, I, I just winked. This next question comes in from YouTube asking about the flash sale and where are the links? Now that's a great question. I'll have more on the flash sale in just a second, but there's links in the description below right now to a bunch of magic shops that are holding the flash sale all around the world. So make sure you check them out. Now this next question comes in from Airy Sai over there on YouTube about Nepo Muck and what is the actual effect? So instead of me flapping my gums about it, here's Benny to show you his performance. Alrighty boys and girls, I'm going to show you a neat trick with a deck of cards and a cell phone. What I'm actually going to use with the cell phone is my flashlight right there. So I got the flashlight on my cell phone. Get back to that in a minute. Now I just need a card. So let's say we'll use this one, the Nine of Spades. So if I take the Nine of Spades and I take the flashlight, you can see the Nine of Spades. But if I use my fingers, slowly but surely, I can peel the Nine off right into the cell phone light. And there you can see the card is left blank. But I peeled the card off into the light on my cell phone. So now it's on my cell phone. But with it on my cell phone, I really can't do anything with it. So if I take it and I peel it off my cell phone, then I can put it back in the deck and use it again later. This last question comes in from MusicBoy16 over there on YouTube asking what is my favorite deck at the moment. And to be honest, they're in my hands right now. They're always in my hands when I'm shooting uh, and they're on my desk while I'm editing. So at the moment, they are the Orange Cherries. If you want to check them out, link in the description below. These are absolutely and to be honest, they keep my hands busy from coming up into shot. If I'm playing with the deck down below, saves me talking away like this. Like who needs to see this? No one, no one. Now let's wrap up this question time with last week's word, whoop whoop. Now a lot of you didn't get it. Actually, I don't think anyone got it right. A lot of you thought I was whoop whooping. Uh, but whoop whoop is from when you're in the outback and you're out in whoop whoop, out, out in the middle of nowhere, if you will. So if you're ever stuck somewhere and you don't know where you are and it's in the middle of nowhere, just say to your friends, you're out in whoop whoop. Now, unfortunately, my friend, that's all we have time for for question time this week. If you have any, also, also, a downside to having a deck, you constantly drop it while you're playing and chatting. Now, unfortunately, my friends, that's all we have time for for question time this week. If you have any questions on anything you see in this episode, please throw them in the comment section below. Use the hashtag question time so we can find them amongst all the competition entries. This part of the program is brought to you by Sucker Punch. They're just like poker chips, but way cooler. Now let's get into what was released this last week in Magic. On Friday, Noel Quarter released his version of the card through glass, The Fall. Finally, a visually stunning approach to the card through window plot that is 100% practical and is repeatable as many times as you want for real people out in the real world. The Fall is an incredibly visual penetration of a playing card through a clear sheet of plastic or a clear bag. It is perfect for the walk around miracle and also looks visually spectacular on social media. The Fall comes beautifully packaged with expert instructions on everything you need to perform this worker's dream. You will receive a normal ungimmicked clear plastic bag that folds down to a small easy carry size and a special custom gimmick cards that do all the work for you. And the little secret something that makes the whole thing super easy to perform. The Fall is a crazy visual, an impossible moment that they will see and feel, perfect for any situation, great for social media, even better in real life, killer one-on-one -on -one or even killer for a group. 
with only a five second reset time, perfect for loud environments like nightclubs, as it is super hyper visual. The perfect pack small plays massive trick and your new favorite visual miracle. Like Tom Elderfield said, this is a trick made for TV that is too easy for how good it looks. Now you can pick this up in red and blue. And if you wanna see more on the fall, link in the description below right now, where you can pick it up for $40. You need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it or the trailer, you can check it out just up here. Then on Monday, Nepo Muck by Benjamin Chickering and Abstract Effects was released into the world. Paying homage to the great 19th century magician, Johan and Hoffenzer, Nepo Muck brings a fresh and exciting visual to your repertoire. All you need to do is add the Nepo Muck card to your standard red bicycle deck and you're ready to perform. Although the Nepo Muck card gimmick is a single gimmick, it is not a one trick pony. The expertly crafted gimmick handmade by the card man himself can be used for a number of effects, visuals and reveals. In the instructional video, you're taught everything you need to know to become the expert at this effect. Even if you are just starting out in magic and there are many ways you can perform it. Nepo Muck is one of the most unique effects that looks phenomenal on both camera and in person, leaving your followers and spectators in awe. It's a beautiful routine on its own and works great in combination with other Hoffinson style effects and blank card plots. Easy to do for all skill levels. It's an expertly crafted handmade gimmick. It's ready to go out of the box and no DIY needed. Great for social media and live performances. The gimmick is made in a red bicycle rider back, multiple effects, visuals, and variations taught. And it's like Ryan Schlutz has always said, Benny is pretty good. So if you want to see more on Nepo Muck, link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $25. You need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it, or you can check out the trailer just up here. That's right, it is now time for the news. Now you've heard me talk about this a couple of times throughout the episode already, but right now, as we speak, there's a massive flash sale happening. There's over 300 items available with massive deals going on at your favorite magic shops worldwide. So make sure you check it out. And like I mentioned earlier, there's links in the description below of some of the shops that are holding the sales. So make sure you check those out as well. Grab yourself a bargain and treat yourself. You know why? Because you deserve it. And also on Sunday, after a lot of you asked to see a full performance of it, we put up a full performance of Picture Consequences by Joel Dickinson. If you want to check it out, make sure you do. It's available just up here. And then on yesterday's episode of Stumped, I look at Peter Egging's new effect, Caffeine Rush, and boy, did it not disappoint. If you want to check it out, make sure you do. It's available just up here. I still can't get over how good this gimmick is. Now it's time for today's reminder of the day. Did you finish your homework? Now your homework's done, let's check out this week's Artist of the Week, where this week we're checking out Ryland Petty and his performance of the long and short of it. Over to you, Ryland. So here I have two yellow pieces of wood. Now two yellow pieces of wood are shorter than the two red pieces of wood. And the thing that helped it is I labelled them. Sorry, I got it the wrong way around. There. So the two shorts and the two longs, and you can see that the long, that longs are longer than the two shorts. Now, two shorts and two longs obviously are the same length, so I've got Short long is the same size as the long short, and the long short is the same size as the short long. Now, what I don't get is that if we put a long short here and a short long here, the, the long short is longer than the short long. But if I do it the other way around, long short, short long. Now, long short is shorter than the short long. No, longer than the long, short long. Now that really doesn't make sense, but what really, really, really doesn't make sense is that they are all the exact same size in them. What? What a deliciously tasty routine. Thank you so much, Ryland. If you want to see more of Ryland's work, link in the description below right now to his Instagram. Make sure you check it out. Now, do you have a performance that you would love to be shared on What's New this week? All you need to do is tag us in your content. I'll take a look and put it in a future week's episode. It's really that easy. Now it's time to check out a review by Tyler Lunsford and his review of POV Pad by Ja Miranda and Julio Montoro. Over to you, my friend. What is up, you of people? My name is Tyler Lunsford, and welcome back to another Magic Trick Review here on the channel. Today, we're talking about POV Pad by Zhao Miranda and Julio Montoro, and it's an interesting one because I think a lot of people have mixed opinions on this, and I can't wait to share mine. So, go ahead, sit back, relax, and let's get right into this review right now. One more quick thing, you are truly watching an unbiased Magic Trick Review because I bought POV Pad with my own money. First off, you need to know, what actually is POV? POV is a cleverly gimmicked sticky pad that allows the performer to instantly peek at any drawing, number, or word. Ooh, that was a tasty review. If you want to see the full review by Tyler Lunsford, link in the description below right now to his YouTube. Make sure you check it out. And while you're there, subscribe to that absolute legend. You won't regret it. It's now time to check out this week's deck of the week, where this week we check out the JLB Mark deck, the world's first connected deck. 
The JLB deck is a marked deck of cards that comes with connecting technology, exclusive content, and a dedicated mobile app and magic tutorials. Like any other deck in history, the JLB deck is a bunch of regular cards with a pretty dope design. That's what you might think. You may slip it into a party, have a card game with friends, and let people play with it. No one will notice that you're carrying so much more. Apart from the marking system, John Luke created five exclusive routines tailor-made for Zoom magicians. It also includes tutorials, so you'll have access to the theory and subtleties to transform your close-up set into an unforgettable magic performance. John Luke will also share with you his form of magic, where the method is not important, only the result matters. It also includes the JLB app. Now this app will leave you with so much room for upgrades, creativity, and reputation making effects. A worldwide tool for magicians from close-up magic to Zoom performances, the first and key feature is that it's directly connected to the JLB deck. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, PayPal, Snapchat, Twitter, email, phone number, URL, whatever it is, there's no more need for business cards. It is directly connected to the JLB deck and is compatible with all phones. Now the JLB deck comes with 15 exclusive video tutorials, including tailor-made Zoom magic effects, multi-angle views, it's available with English, French, and Spanish subtitles. And that's why the JLB deck is a moneymaker. It'll secure gigs for you. Now, if you want to see more on the JLB deck, link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $35. You need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Now it's time for our random comment entry winners. So if you're from Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook, congratulations, my friends. You're the winners of this week's secret prize. So make sure you email me just here and I'll get those prizes out to you quicker. You can make a coin disappear into a coffee cup. Throw back to yesterday's Stumped. Now, if you want a chance to win this week's secret prize, all you need to do is comment below what was your favorite effect from this episode, whatever it may be. It could even be a deck of cards. Whatever it is, let me know in the comment section below. I'll choose someone out at random and you'll be announced in next week's video. So good luck. It's now time for the Hilary Duff movie of the week, where this week it's the classic Lizzie McGuire movie. It's now time to check out the back and stock section. This first back in stock item is the Airborne Set Universal. One of the greatest magic effects ever. This glass floats in mid-air while a liquid is being poured into it. Your audiences will be absolutely amazed. In this box, you'll receive the glass and everything prepared for you. The universal gimmick for bottles and a trick can of soda with the gimmick. And you can easily change it for any can you wish. So if you want to see more on the Airborne Set Universal, link in the description below right now where you can pick it up for $24 and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. This next back in stock item is the Infinity Watch V3. Now, what if you had the power to predict a thought of time with absolute accuracy? With this, you now can. So imagine this, you adjust the time on your watch and hand it off to one of your spectators. With things out of your hand and in full view the entire time, the spectator finds that time on the watch and it matches exactly what they just named. Now the Infinity Watch V3 comes in a color and model of your choice, either in a wristwatch available in four classy colors or a pocket watch available in two majestic looks. It comes with a specially designed remote control of your choice, either a pen or keypad, a USB charging cable instruction booklet, five envelopes with cards, and an online tutorial with five incredible routines. So if you wanna see more on the Infinity Watch V3, link in the description below right now, where you can pick it up for $250 you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. This last back in stock item is a Haunted Deck Pro. Now the Haunted Deck is one of the strongest card effects you can do. You can shuffle the deck freely, spread it, dribble it, then place it down for the astonishing moment. Previously, a handling like I just mentioned will require you to master the subtle art of invisible thread, which is not that easy. You will also face the risk of the thread snapping during the routine, leaving you in a very awkward position. This is where the Haunted Deck Pro comes in. This is the thinnest mechanical Haunted Deck gimmick. The gimmick looks and feels exactly like half a bicycle deck. You can even riffle it, add another 15 normal cards to it, and you'll have a normal deck that you can quite freely handle. The remote control is small, easy to carry around, and contains a magnetic part. So if you want to see more on the Haunted Deck Pro, link in the description below right now, where you can pick it up for $85 and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Now it's time to check out some downloads that you don't want to miss. This first download is last week's Vault MOX by Sultan Orizali. This is where an X drawn on the back of your card box jumps to your hand and then back to the box. Clever visual masterpiece that is easy to perform and even easier to build. Now imagine combining this with an effect you already probably own. So if you want to see more on MOX by Sultan or Azalee, link in the description below right now where you can pick it up for just $5. This next download is Inspiration by Martin B. Inspiration is a collection of 10 brand new, easy to do magic card routines. There is something for every level of magician whether you're a beginner or an experienced performer. With just a little bit of practice, these cool effects will elevate your magic performances. Not only do the effects look cool, but they're also magical to perform. 
Now, along with the purchase, you'll also receive a 30 minute free session of Zoom with Martin B. We'll cover all the moves, ideas, routines, and tips on the project. Now, while the 30 minute session is free, it comes on a first come first serve basis. So if you wanna see more on inspiration, link in the description below right now, where you can pick it up for just $24. This last download is Half Pieces by Tibby Master. Now this is a visual vanish and teleportation. A selected card is placed face up on the deck. Then with just a shake of your hand, half the card vanishes and visually ends up wherever you like. There's no magnets, no flaps, no pulls or rolls and absolutely no chemicals. Very visual and fully examinable. So if you wanna see more on half pieces, link in the description below right now, where you can pick it up for just $7. G'day champion, welcome back to Murphy's Magic's Game Show. It's me, your host, Grizzly Peterson. Let's jump in and see what the prices are for this week. <laughs> All those prizes for just one of you, what an absolute treat. That's tasted in a sausage roll out by the billabong. Now let's see who won tonight's prize. What do we do? Oh, the old drover hat tip, that'll do it. There you go. Who's gonna win? Hey, is it gonna be you? Oh, close. What are they? Oh, no, sorry. Hey, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey. Congratulations, champion. Make sure you email me just here and I'll get those prizes fair dink and rinky dink straight out to you. Now, if you wanna enter into next week's competition, make sure you comment Mad as a cut snake below and I'll enter you into next week's competition. Thanks so much for have entered this week. Good luck for everyone who's entered next week for some more awesome one-off prizes. Thanks again. Take care, champion. See you then. Back to Bo. Hey, if it isn't my best friend, how are you? You enjoying the episode? Great to hear. Actually, I didn't thank you earlier for liking the video. I really do appreciate it. And look, I know you're here for some sneak peeks. So let's get Bro Gilbert in here to show you what he's got this week. Bro, come in here, mate. Yeah, show, come here, show them, show them. They're ready to see it. You ready? Here he is. This week on The Vault, another strange gimmick and impossible puzzle by Mr. Ding Ding. This is called Impossible Color Change. A beautiful color change. Thank you so much, bro. If you want to see more on ICC, you can check it out tomorrow when it drops at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It'll be available for $8. Now on Friday, Jordan Victoria is back with the second edition signature playing cards. After one and a half years at the beginning of the signature collection, they're back. The first edition of the signature deck has been sold all around the world and is now in the hands of thousands of magicians and carders. The signature playing card second edition is here, but is only limited to 1,000 decks. It's printed by USPCC, comes with two jokers, a gaff card, a special double backer, and a special card with two effects taught. The design and concept is by Jordan Victoria, so if you're gonna see more on the signature playing cards, second edition, keep an eye out for when they drop on Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. They will be available for $15. Also on Friday, SEC by N2G is here. Now controlling the shape of a metal with mysterious powers has always been a legendary magic effect. It's my pleasure to introduce SCC to you. Now take your coin magic closer to reality more than ever before. Take a Chinese coin and hand it to your audience, which they can fully examine. Then take out a lighter and bake it slowly with the magic of heat. Visually stretch it in your hands, not once, but twice. So if you wanna see more on SCC by N2G, keep an eye out for the trailer drops on Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's available for $45 and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Now, unfortunately, my friend, I know, I know that's all we have time for for what's new this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Now, if you do have any questions on anything you've seen in this episode, please throw them in the comment section below. Use the hashtag question time so we can find them amongst all the competition entries. Now, let you get back to your Wednesday champions. So thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you on Saturday for our Saturday Sorcery or over there on our Discord for our weekly jam, hangout, giveaways, all that kind of fun stuff or I'll see you on Tuesday for another episode of Stumped, or next week on a What's New This Week. Now take care, see you later, bye for now. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, so much good magic in there, you, you need to check this out. You're not gonna regret it, I, I, I pinky promise you. Oh, whoa, look at this.
this shining diamond over here. What is this? Beautiful. You probably should click that if you haven't subscribed yet. But then you should definitely check out this because this, this is good. Treat yourself.